Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Physics Infinity. Today we will study the moment of inertia of a thin spherical shell. Let us consider a section of thin spherical shell of mass m and radius r with O as its center as well as the center of mass and let A B be its diameter. Our first case is to find out the moment of inertia about any of the diameter taken as the axis. So AB is a required axis about which we have to find out its moment of inertia. For that let us consider a thin element of the shell lying between two parallel sides or two parallel lines CD and EF at distances x and x plus dx from this point O. This slice form a sort of a ring of thickness CE and of radius say small y. Now let angle y o c be equal to theta and angle c o e be equal to d theta. Now since this y y dash and c d are parallel therefore angle o c h is also equal to theta because this angle and angle y o c are alternate angles. Therefore from here we can find out the values of this y and x. In right angle triangle, triangle O, C, H, right angled at H and angle C being theta, the value of y will be equal to R cos theta and y of value of x will be equal to R sin theta. Here we have. Now differentiating x with respect to theta we get dx is equal to r as it is and differentiation of sin theta to be equal to cos theta d theta. Now r cos theta is equal to y therefore dx is equal to y d theta. Now the surface area of the ring will be equal to its circumference into its width and its width is c e therefore its surface area will be circumference 2 pi y into its width c e. Now this c e from this slice we can have its value to be equal to r d theta. Using these values in this form in this result we get 2 pi y into c e that is equal to 2 pi y 2 pi into y is equal to r cos theta and c e is equal to r d theta and this r cos theta into d theta is equal to dx therefore its surface area will be equal to 2 pi r into dx. Now the surface area of the shell since it is a spherical shell therefore its surface area is equal to 4 pi r square therefore its mass per unit surface area of the shell is equal to m upon 4 pi r square and from here we can find out the mass of the slice that is small m equal to m upon 4 pi r square mass per unit surface area of the shell into the surface area of the ring 2 pi r dx that is equal to m upon 2 r into dx. Now we find out the moment of inertia of this thin slice or the ring about this ab axis. Clearly this ab axis is passing through its center of mass and also it is perpendicular to its plane. Therefore its moment of inertia about ab axis will be equal to from our previous results mass into square of the radius that is m y square. It's the value of mass m upon 2 r into dx and value of y square again from the right angle triangle triangle o c h the value of y square is equal to r square that is o c square minus x square using the pythagoras theorem here so we have the value of moment of inertia is equal to m upon 2 r dx into r square minus x square now with the help of this moment of inertia we will obtain the moment of inertia of the complete shell by integrating it. Now the limits of the integration will be the varying values of x. The minimum value of x can be equal to 0 and the maximum value of x can be equal to r but it, but it covers only half of this shell only. Therefore to consider the complete shell we have to do the same integration in both the hemispheres to the left of the yy dash as well as to the right of the yy dash. 
Therefore, the moment of inertia of the complete shell about AB axis will be equal to 2 times the integration of this di that is m upon 2r dx into r square minus x square between the limits 0 to r. Now taken out take out this m upon 2r outside the integration to cancels out this 2 and we get m upon r integration r square minus x square dx upon integration we get r square into 1 integration of 1 to be equal to x minus x square integration equal to x cube upon 3 between the limits 0 to r putting the values and upon calculations we get the moment of inertia to be equal to 2 upon 3 m r square this is a required result now our next case is to find out the moment of inertia of the shell about a tangent for that let us suppose that j k be a tangent to the spherical shell and parallel to a b diameter now we have two parallel axes therefore we will use the principle of parallel axes here also the distance between these two parallel axes is equal to the radius of the shell therefore h is equal to r now using the principle of parallel axes we get i about j k is equal to i about a b plus m h square that is 2 upon 3 m r square we just have calculated this result plus m r square that is equal to 5 upon 3 m r square this is a required result the moment of inertia of a spherical shell about a tangent now we have a special case for this spherical shell we can find out the moment of inertia of a solid sphere from the moment of inertia of the spherical shell let us see Consider a solid sphere of mass m, radius r and o as its center of mass as well as the center of the sphere. Now we have to use the principle, the moment of inertia of the spherical shell here. So let us consider this solid sphere to be divided into a large number of concentric shells of infinite simul thickness. Let one such cell shell of small thickness dx and radius x now we have the moment of inertia of this shell we just have calculated this value this will be equal to the mass 2 upon mx square into 2 upon 3 that is 2 upon 3 mx square now we have to find out the value of this small m now the volume of the sphere is equal to 4 upon 3 pi r cube Therefore, mass per unit volume of the sphere will be mass upon volume that is m upon 4 by 3 pi r cube. Now also the volume of the shell that we have considered of radius x and th thickness dx that will be equal to its surface area 4 pi x square into its thickness dx. Therefore, the mass of the shell will be equal to the mass per unit volume of the sphere m upon 4 by 3 pi r cube into the volume of the shell 4 pi x square dx that is equal to 3 m upon r cube into x square dx. Now we have the mass of the shell as well as its radius small x therefore its moment of inertia about any of its diameter is equal to 2 upon 3 mx square Using the values, we get 2 upon 3 into the value of small m that, that, that is the mass of the shell 3m upon r cube into x square dx into the square of its radius x square that is equal to 2m upon r cube into x raised to power 4 dx. Now the moment of inertia of the solid sphere by integrating this small moment of inertia between the limits. Now the minimum value of the x can be equal to 0 and its maximum value can be equal to r, the radius of the sphere. Therefore, the limits of integration will be from 0 to r. Therefore, the moment of inertia of the solid sphere will be integration di between the limits 0 to r. The value of di is 2m upon r cube x raised to power 4 dx. Now, this 2m upon r cube is a constant term, therefore it can be taken outside the integration and inside the integration we have x raised to power 4 dx. Integration of x raised to power 4 is x raised to power 5 upon 5. Using the limits, 
we get 2 upon 5 m r square as the moment of inertia of the solid sphere about any of its diameter this is the same value as we have obtained in our previous result in our previous article thank you for watching my video keep watching